Scorpio. Hello, beautiful souls. Thank you guys so much for joining me here and welcome to my table. So my Scorpio friends, if you're new here, my name is Zachary. Hello, hello. Nice to meet you. And if you are returning, it's good to see you guys again. Thank you for your love and support. Pull up a chair, you guys. So I, I do have some messages that came through in meditation channeling to share with you, and then we'll get into the remainder of the reading with Oracle Cards and Tarot. Scorpio, a few things that come through, and I know that this will come together and make more sense as we get through this. Right now, it does feel a little bit piece, piecemeal, um, piecemeal, piecemeal. Anyway, the first thing that came through was arbitration or arbitor. So... Um, I'm getting the message or the feeling that there is a need for some sort of arbitration. Maybe you're in the middle of it. Maybe you're going through a divorce and there is literally like a, an official arbiter that is, is needed or that you're working with in this situation right now. For others of you, it, it feels like you may be in a situation where it's needed to look into resources or help outside of yourself to help settle some sort of disagreement, something that needs to come to um well an agreement okay if you could only see was something that came through with that too and i don't know if that's uh it doesn't feel like maybe one specific party over another maybe um and this could be between more than just two people as far as seeing eye to eye on something but i'm getting this message of that's somebody's thoughts like if you could only listen if you could only see my side and something this feels like you're probably feeling this way and the other person is feeling this way too and i feel like this is important to even get you to that place of maybe realizing that you do need some assistance outside of yourself to help solve this so to speak um it doesn't feel like anyone's in the right or in the wrong but something is tricky as far as coming to seeing eye to eye on um, the next thing that came through was skin skid by the skin of your teeth is, is kind of where I was going with that. So I'm asking, you know, what, where is it that you're feeling that something happened by the skin of your teeth? You just got by on something. And this could also be somebody outside of yourself. Like I said, uh, whoever maybe you need to arbitrate <laughs> with, um, let's keep moving forward. The next thing I was shown was a spotlight. There's nothing in the spotlight. You're actually off here in the dark. Um, what came through is missed your mark. So like a, a, a play, a stage production of some sort. Your mark, you're supposed to hit your mark. That's why lighting is set up the way it is, all that, all that stuff. Um, so the light went off to be illuminated, to, um, to show yourself to somebody or something. And there was this missing of the mark. The thing that was interesting about this, though, is it didn't feel like a failure. It didn't feel like um, this is a bad thing. It's more, I think, the way it's being perceived by yourself. Because what came through next on that is envelop, like to envelop in darkness. So this experience of being outside of the spotlight, so, and it was a really difficult one to even put down on paper, but to... To realize that you can still be seen here in the dark, um, whether or not you missed your mark on, I, I'm getting this vibe that this is totally you feeling that you missed something, messed something up because I didn't hit that spotlight. Now I'm screwed or, or whatever. What I'm getting is that what you're meant to do or what you're working on to accomplish what it is that you're wanting to do is more than possible to, to do from the darkness too, okay? Um, the next thing I was shown was, I thought it was like it's a music note at first, but as I drew it out, it looks a bit more <laughs> to me like, well, a set of legs, and there was an arrow that was pointing up. So I'm like, okay, I didn't really realize that until I drew it out. I'm like, okay, got it. Um, I don't know if somebody's having issues with like fertility issues, um, could be female or male, reproductive health. I'm not sure what the message is on that. I don't like to read too much into health because, um, because, all right. <laughs> so yes, let's get into your message here and see where this goes. Um, we'll pull some Oracle cards here as well. And speaking of health, I did just want to mention, I'm just going to mention here for the signs for a little bit, as I am 
go on my own health journey here too, I am still very much struggling with my skin, especially. Um, this is just a more visible sign. I'm not bringing this up, you guys, to receive any sort of comments on it. In fact, I'm actually asking for your help in this way to please stop making comments on either my skin or my appearance. Um, I do not do this for visibility or recognition of either of those things. And I'm finding that, especially this last week, it's taken me some time to get to your reading because I've been dealing with my own mental health stuff. And I understand this as being very vulnerable and transparent. And I also feel like it's important to share. Um, I know it's coming from a good place from people that are expressing, you know, this, it doesn't look bad or this or that or whatever. I just want you to know that it's severely impacting my mental health at this time. And outside of shutting down comments or moving into a state where I'm recording where maybe just my hands or my face isn't visible, which may need to happen if I do continue to receive comments in that way, you guys. So I very much appreciate your love and support. I am always accepting supportive energy from behind the scenes, but please, um, it hurts a lot. So please um, respect that, okay? <laughs> Um, I'm turning down resolution and everything on my camera too, just to help me feel better. But please know I'm, uh, I'm not okay in that way. And what is important to me is to share these messages. That's why I'm here. So please, um, please allow me to do that. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> okay. Pardon me, I did not mean to get emotional. Spirit, back to Scorpio here. What messages do we have for Scorpio at this time? The Starborn comes through. So we're looking at um, the inner child archetype. If you could only see. The Starborn, <laughs> interesting off, off the coattails of what I was just saying there about myself here. Um, the starborn is an energy that that people want to chase, people want to be around. It's this exuberant childlike energy that is infectious. And um, it can lead to things like addictions as well, and constantly trying to pursue that epitome of, of whatever expectation, like it's dovetailing off of what I was saying. The reason why those comments, even though they may be coming from a place of love, are hard and hurtful is because it's setting for me. I have an ego too, you guys. You know, I'm human too. I have, I'm a human too. It's setting an expectation of what may or may not be acceptable. And this is already hard. <laughs> I love what I do, but the visual aspect of it is, is difficult, you guys. So bringing this back to this, if it feels like there's something you may be struggling with as well in that regard, an expectation um, that you are a certain energy level, you're smiling all the time, this or, or that, whatever, because people want to be around that energy. So, so far, this message is starting off saying, um, we're going to stop doing that, okay? Maybe, maybe you are in a place where you need to express something similar to what I did to others. That's okay, you guys. It's important. It's, um, this is what boundaries look like, right? I love you guys, and I know you love me too. And I'm also expressing I need to make sure that I'm okay right now, and this is what I need. I feel like there's something that you guys need to express as well in that vein. Anything else here for Scorpio, please, Spirit? The underworld. <laughs> huh. So that shadow in meditation, like I was talking about, uh, like missing your mark, what I'm, what I'm feeling is a very state, um, like theater references here. Um, like you're in the dressing room, you're in the dark here somewhere. Maybe you got locked in a room, the lights got shut out and they're calling you saying, it's time for you to get on stage, your cue, like this is your, this is your entering point, right? And you're stuck in what feels like the underworld or is the underworld? You're in a shadow place here. You're going through the shadow. You're processing components of the shadow. And instead of feeling like you missed your mark, right, you can still 
perform, do whatever it is that you need to do from this uh, dressing room in the dark. Kind of a weird connection there, but I don't, I can't really find a better example. The lights may be out. Okay. The lights may be out, but this performance that's being performed is not being perceived with the eyes. This is felt. Those that are, are watching are uh, perceiving this performance, are feeling with the heart, are feeling with senses outside of sight. And yeah, very interesting. Okay, let's go a little bit further into this, you guys. Maybe you guys are struggling right now too with appearances. Um, that's human, you know? I think it's easy to say, oh, just don't worry about it. Don't let people affect you. This or that, that's not real, you guys. That's not real. We may get better at having communications, communication with ourselves and dismantling words from somebody else, not allowing them to become a part of what it is we believe or see about ourselves. But that still takes energy and is still a process. And words can still hurt, whether they're good or bad things being said. Like I said, as an example, for me, I know. At some point, okay, compliments and things are on, on the surface, not a bad thing. I'm just expressing at this time that they're all hurting me right now. And I need to be able to heal before I can handle somebody bringing up my appearance right now, okay? I feel like you may be going through something like this too. And if that's the case, please know that it is more than okay to be vulnerable to say, hey, I need some help in that way, right? Fuck. Um, I've done like <laughs> maybe five readings today. I haven't been emotional. But here we are with Scorpio, right? Death and rebirth. Let's get into this a little further. Additional messages for Scorpio, please. Mimicry comes through. Dovetailing off of what's been said so far, um, there may be this pressure to perform, to appear, to look like, to emulate other people in um, areas of success or doing maybe what it is that you want to be doing at that level that you're wanting to perform or exist at. And there's nothing wrong with imitating, you know, doing, not reinventing the wheel, doing something that's working for somebody else. What I'm getting, though, is something is crossing over into um, trying to emulate or imitate something to such a degree that it's actually taking away from your natural presentation here. And that's, that's going into an area that's becoming harmful. Grief here at the bottom is standing out, too. Almost like um, you're grieving this component of yourself that that never was, that was never meant to be either. And, and I mean more like in a physical sense here, okay? A physical plane kind of sense. Um, what else here, please, for Scorpio? I was really excited to get down. And I'm still excited to do your reading here, you guys. I wasn't expecting for that to be as emotional as it was, but... Um, I do also feel maybe that energy is just safe here with you guys, so thank you. Dominance comes through. So dominance, um, when this comes through, this can be a dominating energy, somebody trying to dominate you. This I usually get more, it is this experience of trying to dominate somebody else or something else. And what I'm what I'm getting from this so far is um, like a forced, a force trying to force something. Um, I don't mean to keep bringing it back as an example here, but I kind of have a feeling because I meant to just say something and move on. You know, um, somebody here is experiencing something maybe similar with their weight or their age, something that is like physically present because we are perceptible, perceivable. We live in 2024, right? Everything is recorded. We all have social media. You're all here watching YouTube, right? 
We live in a world of filters and um, and the effect that that has on the human psyche is, well, it's reprehensible, to be honest with you. So what I'm getting here is, um, is very much that energy of like trying to force yourself to fit into whatever you think society's expectation is, whether that's weight, the wrinkles on your skin or texture or you know, discoloration, or maybe you're dealing with um, unknown health issues too, right? It feels like I'm growing scales on my face, you guys. <laughs> and up until now, I've been trying very hard to just like force or put makeup on or, or whatever else. And it's gotten to a point where I can't. And I'm also not looking for um, advice, you guys too, by the way, I, I know that's coming from a, a loving place. And I also know, um, I don't have the time to express everything that I've tried or looked into. Just know that I am working with professionals and we're trying to figure it out. And maybe you're in a place like that too. I'm drawn back to this missing the mark. Um, maybe that's how you're feeling. That maybe your body is, is betraying you because it's not living up to uh, what you need it to live up to or what you want it to live up to. I love you, Scorpio. Let's get a little further into this. The bat and elephant here at the bottom. So obliterator of obstacles, you guys. Sometime, God, I really didn't want to bring this to myself, but I feel like there's, there's some applicability here. And I'd love to comment wise, you guys, I'd love to hear how this um, connects with you. I'm just requesting, please no more comments on my appearance. Um, the elephant, Ganesha here, can present an obstacle as a way of obliterating an obstacle. So as an example, I guess for me, with what has been going on, and this has been going on since February, really, since I moved into a new place here, I am looking to see if maybe mold is an issue, I don't know. But um, this could be an obstacle, right, presented to help me, I don't know, I don't know. Find a way where I, I truly don't care about, you know, appearance. I don't, I, I know there are some people who don't, can truly say they don't care. Um, and I know that's also rare. That aside though, that's as an example, maybe you are in a situation where something's popping up and impeding your ability to move forward and it's maddening. Maybe you're trying to find the spotlight, but it keeps moving every time you you move to that. So it's like I'm missing my mark and I'm trying and I'm still trying. And I'm still failing, right? <laughs> but you're not failing. I don't always like to be I, it's hard to be this vulnerable, you guys. Um Hopefully your, um, you know, partial lunar eclipse in Pisces has been going well. This did just happen, our super moon. And I know and there are emotions that have definitely come up for me. I'd imagine there are emotions that have come up for you too. So the bat was the one that came out here. The bat is an energy of, well, either seeing in the dark, you know, the bat uses echolocation to see or... It's this process of remaining patient and allowing the sun to rise to be able to see what is needed. So let that, um, God damn it. I don't want to like stop and edit this out, you know what I'm saying? To let that um, spotlight find you. What I'm getting from that is there is this idea or belief that the mark where you're supposed to stand for that spotlight to hit you 
that the mark is about you hitting a certain spot when in reality it's actually the mark is whoever is uh, managing the spotlight you are being requested it feels actually to be still so that the spotlight can come to you i'm getting this like um reverb or a time delay the spotlight is moving to where you were um but it's got such a delay that you're not even seeing the pattern of what it's trying to do. So you're chasing it and it's chasing you, right? The bat is patient. The bat is waiting for that moment when it has the ability to see. Okay, let's get into your tarot messages, you guys. This is absolutely the longest I've gone before getting into the tarot. And thank you for allowing this to be a safe space for my emotions too, you guys. So for Scorpio at this time, this is the Phantasma deck we'll be starting with, you guys. Additional messages for Scorpio. The star here at the split. Renewed hope. It does feel like there is like a, a loss of hope, you guys. A, a running out of energy, like I said, kind of chasing that, that spotlight around. It's draining. <laughs> um, huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Thank you for your love and support. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, you can check that out. There's a join button next to the subscribe under this video. And I do have personal readings open and available. You can check out my website in the description of this video. I'd love to help you with something more personal that you guys are going with, going through. This is a general reading. Okay, for Scorpio here, please, Spirit. Which one? In the shadow. Three of Pentacles here at the bottom. So this is your hope, hopes and dreams. Um, success in working with others is what this is. It's also, um, I just realized I'm on my gauge in. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, talking and listening is something that comes through with this. So your hope at this time, I do feel like there is this uh, recognition. There is this desire to be seen in some way and chasing whatever the spotlight is. And it doesn't have to be like, you know, fame or fortune or yeah, being highly visible or anything like that. It's It, it feels like a, like a validation. What is that song? Um, waving through a window. Like you're... Waving through a window, is it, does anybody see me? Is there anybody waving back at me is kind of the energy that I'm getting from that. Yes. Always. But are they seeing what you want to be seen? Hmm. Well, that's a different question. Ten of Swords falling in reverse here. It does feel like there is this... Um, sinking into uh, a very painful event, rock bottom kind of energy. Sinking into the dark there. The sun will rise again. It's, it, it will. The spotlight will find you. I'm just getting the vibe that um, stillness, in the stillness there is healing. That divine feminine, right? For Scorpio here. This is the Light Seer's Tarot. Um, what do we have here for Scorpio, please, Spirit? This is a general message, like I said, you guys. Please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you and leave the rest behind. And feel free to check out any other major placements in your chart. We do have each of these signs in our chart, different uh, houses, okay? So feel free to check that out to give you a little bit more information. Page of Wands here in reverse. This is your fear, fear aversion. Will there ever be this excitement, this energy to even do something or ability to move forward, to start again? There's a fear, anxiety surrounding um, starting something again with passion, enjoyment, being uh, hopeful or excited about doing something. It is possible. Uh, is what I'm feeling on that. Of course, of course that's possible. 
That energy that you're looking for, though, and getting excited about start starting something new may be wasted in trying to chase whatever the spotlight is. Approval from others, being seen, like I said. Um, maybe even trying to illuminate something that you are not aware of. Like I said, with my, I'm trying to figure out what's going on health-wise, not like I'm not trying. But I'm kind of getting the vibe, too, with myself that there's something about that stillness, you guys. The divine feminine pursuit rather than the divine masculine. So, general to start, <laughs> being a movement, the chariot. So the chariot, this is positive forward movement. But it doesn't come without um, its own set of trials. There are things that need to be overcome in order to take advantage of the, the progress, the forward movement. Faith and trust is a part of this too. The rider on the carriage, if they were to look down at the horses, they're not actually connected, or sphinxes, they're not actually connected to the carriage. So there is this faith and trust that I, I am being directed to where I need to go, even though maybe physically none of this makes any sense. Maybe you're feeling that way right now. With arbit I'm feeling arbitration and arbiter coming through again. This could be, um, <laughs> this could be arbitration between uh, your own voices, right? The, the archetypes inside of yourself are needing to come to rest. A counselor. Somebody to be objective to help you sift through what's going on. Mm -hmm. King of Swords here in reverse to clarify. The Chariot. So um, discernment, I'm getting this like uh, King, of, King of Swords here is a pursuit, pursuit of truth, honesty. In the upright, this individual is somebody who's excellent with discernment. They are um, allowing things to come to them information-wise. They're allowing people to speak their truth. And this person, after receiving the information, is then deciding what's best to do here. Being in the reverse position here, I feel like it's not just that this energy is blocked. It's like this, this step is trying to be skipped with a chariot coming through here too. Like I was just saying with the divine feminine, divine masculine, it does feel like there's more of this push, this divine masculine to figure something out. And that progress is coming forward. That ability to move again is available. What's needed first, though, is to take a beat, take a seat, and pay attention to what's going on around you. What I'm getting is that the, the answers are coming through that you require. But if you're looking over here or looking over there when it's coming this way or you're moving in these directions, then you're missing the information. Whew. I'm interested to go back and watch this myself. I feel like it's going to be a rough one. <laughs> uh, any other advice here on this, please, for Scorpio? <laughs> Self-limiting beliefs. Patience here at the bottom. Manifestations on the way. Self-limiting beliefs. Negative thoughts are creating a roadblock in your life. And moving on. Endings that bring healthy beginnings. So um, with the chariot, moving on is coming through on that. Um, there may be something, whether it is about your physical appearance or your experience here, a job, a relationship, whatever. I'm getting this vibe that um, something may need to come to a close. You need to move on from something. But you also need the information to be sure about that. Like as an example for a relationship, let's say you're kind of getting feeling something's not quite right, but you're struggling to pinpoint it to the relationship. If you were to go just blow that up or anything without first knowing for sure that's what's causing the issue, you're going to be doubting that for the rest of your days, for a while. You're being asked to be still here so that you can see the info coming through. Okay, good stuff for you guys at this time. Nine of Wands. Okay, I do like to see this. So Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior. It's resilience. Along with the bat standing out here, the message that I'm getting on this is that you're so close to moving past whatever this restriction has been. Not being in the spotlight, whatever that looks like. Again, being still is allowing the spotlight to catch up to you. Um, this nine of wands here especially there's um there's four wands here on the ground symbolizing uh crossing the major threshold you guys this feels like something you've been 
working on for quite some time, trying to figure out for quite some time. There's an uh, Ace of Wands here, that same kind of excited energy of starting a new journey that the Page of Wands provides. And there's that fear there. So it's like you're gripping on to um, what you fear. Is this possible to have the energy to do this again? Yes. Two wands split here. So you're split in between the need to make a decision somewhere to get uncomfortable, to be comfortable again. But this is a reminder, being in the good stuff here, that you're almost there. What you're fighting for is worth it. What you're working to protect is worth it. Don't speed ahead is what's coming through on that. The answers will come. Okay? Two pentacles in reverse. I do feel there is a message of balance here. And it's being requested to be seen for you guys at this time. Being in the good stuff, I and with a nine of wands, the balance that's not balanced right now that can come into balance, this happens when you give yourself a damn break, right? Maybe allow yourself to be human. Maybe allow yourself to um, have weight fluctuations, right? Or to have... Um, imperfections on your skin. I'm not dismissing the experience of, you know, uh, dealing with those things, whether you experience that on a, a minor or more major level, there is a level of grief that we go through anytime there is a change that happens to our human bodies. And if there's anybody out there that's trivializing that experience for you, I'm sorry. That's rude. Not that somebody needs to, you know, hold your hand or baby you through something, but um, as a human being, the ego is working constantly to make sure that nothing changes. So anytime something does happen that changes outside of our control, we are, there is an ego death, you guys, and it's okay to grieve that. It's okay to grieve that. Any other advice here on the good stuff for Scorpio? Overcoming obstacles, get back on your feet, gain strength from difficult situations. There's that resiliency again. It's okay to um, grieve, like I said, like I was saying, to feel however you do feel. That's Im important, actually, to recognize that. There is a request, though, not to stay there, right? That Ten of Swords in reverse came out, and that's making me feel like there could be an overconnection to those things that are painful or brought pain. Okay, let's keep moving forward here. This one's gonna be a little bit longer, you guys. So strength comes through. This is your, um, what you don't see coming or what's in the dark. <laughs> what you don't see is how strong you are. This is that, um, that quiet strength inside, right? When we have the ego, those animal drives or forces going on inside of us that are inflamed, it's not about forcing that energy to do anything. It is, with, it is with love and a gentle hand that we are able to soothe the beast. And that's what it feels like right now. 33, 33 on the timer there too. What is that quote? Um, I can't remember who said it. Courage does, was it like, courage does not always roar loudly. Sometimes it is the quiet voice at the end of the day that says, I'll try again tomorrow. What you don't see right now in the situation or what's in the dark um, is you. But what you don't see along with you there is your strength. And crying, grieving, validating that um, something sucks or hurts, that is not weakness. And it's not strength to ignore that either. Strength is doing all of it. Going, yeah, this hurts. I feel stuck. I don't know the way through. I'm tired. And I also know that I'm going to keep going until I figure this out. You see what I'm saying? That's strength. Looking at the whole picture. Allowing yourself to bleed, to be human, and allowing, and allowing yourself to be divine. Divinity is our ability to overcome human difficulty. That is what makes us divine. 
And that is not possible for ignoring maybe where we are suffering or where there's pain, okay? So Knight of Pentacles comes through to clarify this here. In the dark, this is your expansion. This is making a plan to accomplish something. So um, boring work, this isn't exciting, but it's the work that we put into something every single day to get to where it is that we want to go. I feel like, um, I know this isn't everybody that's in this situation, but um, it does feel like there is someone here who's very much in the dark. And um, sometimes, or being in that place, it's really difficult to make any sort of plan for the future. <laughs> so the plan I would be making in that kind of space is, um, you know, start with one, if that's all you can manage, two, three, as you go along. What things can I do for myself today? Be that, get out of bed, shower, eat, go for a walk, connect with somebody. That's the kind of plan I'm getting, like, starting the momentum there okay and if you're not starting off in that place that's okay too looking at where you want to go and starting to break it down to a daily practice okay any other advice here in the dark for scorpio dedication <laughs> stay dedicated to your goals efforts that will reap success yes like i said no matter where it is that you're starting on that process What's coming through on this is that strength, that inner strength, that courage to try again the next day. If you weren't able to fulfill your plan, you know, for today, don't beat yourself up about that. Rest and then try again tomorrow. But don't let yourself, don't give up on yourself completely. Okay. Oh, your difficulty right now, obstacle. Yeah, you guys. Three of Swords. So, heartbreak, pain, loss, stormy emotions. I've been saying it a lot, and I mean, if you've been stuck with me here this far, <clears throat> this reading has been talking about some pain of the heart. I feel like this pain, whatever, whether this was end of a relationship, um, job, whatever, just being alive today is, is getting to you, you know what I mean? Um, I feel like the biggest obstacle for a lot of you right now is getting to a point of even just recognizing that. I know for myself personally, do a lot of therapy, okay? I put a lot of work into myself. Uh, and I'm still not anywhere near, you know, uh, perfect a lot of the time or even good sometimes. But one thing I've been noticing about myself is that... When something does hurt, when I am hurt, um, the divine masculine inside of me is a, well, a very strong dude, right? <laughs> and most of my life, I have, that has just been what's taken over. Hurt comes around, um, now it's my turn to destroy you. You know what I'm saying? And that's not, uh, that's not the life I wanna live. That's not the person I want to be either. That is just what was created in growing up, trauma surrounding that, that was needed at a certain time in order for me to survive. What I'm getting with this as an example there, to wrap that up, for me, I, I had this happen the other day where I had a slew of really, really nasty comments from somebody and they know who they are and they can, you know, sit on an egg. <laughs> um, obviously have their own problems and definitely not accepting projection at this time. But before I figured out what was going on there, uh, there was a lot, it triggered me, it triggered that divine masculine in the shadow okay that's what that is the over protective feeling to take care of business and that's um ultimately that's not helpful for anybody um so when i was able to come down a bit give myself some time what i found was just validating for myself that hurt that hurt me that person hurt me that is not a failure that does not make you weak to say that another person did something that hurt you because we're not staying there, right? I mean, we're staying there if we're avoiding the truth on the situation. And here this is that something hurts. In that moment, as soon as I was able to just admit that to myself, the anger went instantly from raging to crying. 
because that's the truth. And that's what I feel like about this situation too. Somebody is needing to just validate that something was fucked, right? <laughs> it hurt. You deserve that truth and you can give that to yourself. Nine of Cups comes through to clarify that. Your freedom, feeling free, having renewed hope, having, having a wish fulfilled could have something to do with a child too. Nine of Cups here. Being still in your obstacle. I feel like there is, um, it's tied to the heartache, like I said. Wasn't just explaining that for no, for no reason. What I'm feeling like is that's a, that's a main key here for someone. In order to move into that place where you are being blessed with your wish granted, you have to first calm the beast. And the beast is this divine masculine. There is a healthy balance that divine masculine is there to protect, okay? It is the protector. But if it gets to a point where you're not ever coming back to the divine feminine and validating things, <laughs> then the divine masculine is in overdrive. And that's when it starts to move over into the shadow. We do need it, but it, he does not need to be on guard all of the time. And that's kind of what I'm getting here. That guard being on all the time is... Um, not allowing you to experience the joy that you want to experience in this life. So last piece here for Scorpio advice wise. Apology. Hmm. Forgiveness through mutual understandings and happiness. New discoveries that lead to celebrations. Love yourself first. Those both kind of actually go hand in hand. The happiness with the nine of cups and apology here with the three of swords. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know, you may be somebody who needs to apologize. Maybe somebody needs to apologize to you. Maybe a little bit of both. Back to the meditation here with the arbitration. And um, if you could only see, if you could only see my side on something. This is a very highly charged reading, you guys. Um, I am going to pull a Blue Angel Oracle card here to close this out. And then I am going into an extended as well. So we're going to look at direct messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice, and what is most likely being manifested for you based on your thoughts and emotions and advice towards that as well. So spirit for Scorpio, last piece of advice here. Ancient of days. I'm going to read this from the book here real quick, you guys. The eternal flame. <laughs> you are the creative expression of the life force that flows through you. Thus, you are full of endless possibility. Listen to the infinite wisdom of your soul, for it will guide you to creations of love and light. Feel the flame aglow in your heart. This flame is your intuitive wisdom. Let it burn through all illusions and obstacles so your path may be clear and bright. Observe your breath. It will lead you to the golden temple deep within you. Enter the majestic glory that is authentically you. Feel yourself reborn with each new breath as you connect with the timeless love and potential you hold. Go forth and live your potential. All is possible for you now. I feel like I love and embrace the entirety of who I am. Mm. All serves a divine purpose and all is a blessing. I am love and I see clearly that all is love. Beyond judgment, there is wholeness. And that, if that doesn't, you know, come right back to everything that I was just saying there, Maybe you are struggling, like I said. You're a human. Of course, there's going to be a struggle of some sort, to some degree, of acceptance of this physical form. Because people can really suck <laughs> sometimes. Coming back to love here, you guys. And speaking of I love you, 44 on the timer there. I love you. And thank you so much for being with me here today. Um, I truly didn't mean to, you know share that much but i also feel that this was important for the message too so thank you for being with me today um i'm gonna move into the extended like i said so if you guys want to join me there links are in the description i do have those for sale individually as well as on the third tier of membership you can have access to all of them if you are looking for a personal reading my website's in the description of the video you can check that out too uh please like share comment subscribe you guys if this reading did resonate with you I truly appreciate the support in growing this channel. I couldn't do it without you, so thank you.
If this reading did resonate with you and you feel called to tip or donate, I do have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description. It's not mandatory, but to those who do support the channel in that way, thank you guys so much. It goes a long way and um, I couldn't do this without you, is what I'm trying to say. I love you, Scorpio. Thank you for being on this journey with me. Um, I will see you all very soon. Take care.